Hello, folks. Mr. Dorfler here, back with your daily dose of Dorfler. All right. So here we are on to our last section for chapter one. I told you this is going to go by really quickly. Um, it was just a kind of rust remover, if you will, um, into scientific process. Okay. And so far, we've talked a ton about scientific process, some terminology. Um, so what we're going to end up now is looking at types of research, okay? And through this whole scientific process learning that we've done over the last week or so, um, really what that leads to is research, okay? So there are different types of research. There is pure research, which is defined as research that seeks to gain knowledge for the sake of knowing itself or knowledge itself. Um, this is motivated by curiosity. Like you're sitting there going, hmm, you know what? I'm kind of I'm kind of interested in why that is. Well, then you go and just learn about it. That's pure research, okay? Melina and Roland, another example, uh, conducted research on chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, and their interactions with ozone. Um, they the findings, um, the beginnings of the universe. So that was kind of like, okay, that's interesting. Then you have applied research, defined as research undertaken to solve a specific problem. Pure research can open, or sorry, become applied research. Okay, so this is where you go to action. Okay, sometimes a lot of times when your pure research of your curiosity, um, you start learning. Okay, let's learn more about this, and you go and apply um, that new knowledge and curiosity to solve a specific problem. Watson and Crick. Okay, they're the ones uh, who were famous for discovering the structure of DNA. Um, and then finding replacement chemicals for CFCs that are now banned. Okay, those are all examples of um, applied research. Chance discoveries are conclusions reached in research that is far different than what we expected. The development of nylon, again, it was kind of an accidental discovery or a chance discovery. Nylon was discovered when hot glass rods were dipped into a mixture of solutions and unexpe uh, unexpectedly pulled out these long fibers. Okay, uh, this was discovered in uh, 1928 by w uh, Wallace Carruthers while working for E.I. DuPont, the Nemours and Company, otherwise really known today as DuPont. Um, so anyway, they had no idea, you know, what that was going to do or that it was going to create a revolution um, in products for decades. Here we are almost a century later. Okay, where nylon is still used, uh, fairly prevalent. <clears throat> there are numerous other examples of chance discoveries um, that you can Google. There's there's such a long list in here, and some of them may even like surprise you to like, wow, this was not even thought of, but it just happened to be, you know, kind of uh, discovered and used. Uh, for instance, Plato was not uh, initially designed for, um, you know, playing around. Okay, they had other design uh, thoughts and uses for it that it just didn't pan out right. <clears throat> Student conduct in the laboratory. So getting down to a few things here as we move forward. Now, as you know, that this year is highly different than years past. Um, the uh, laboratory investigations have been minimum, um, much to our dismay, because we feel like you, you know, for the best experience, you got to have these hands on stuff. But with everything going on now and the changing of the schedules and all this stuff, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Okay. And it hasn't really worked out uh, in our favor this year, but when we do get to the opportunity to uh, have our uh, labs in full swing again, you got to know some things about the lab. Okay. <coughs> so um, learning the laboratory facts about matter will be learned throughout experiments. Hopefully, Okay, hopefully they'll be learned throughout experiments that we get to do. Um, during experiments, you will be doing the following. You're going to be forming and testing hypotheses, gather and analyzing data, drawing your own conclusions. The key thing is, though, as you see here, it's in um, all capital letters designed for you to write it down, is follow all procedures as directed. Any um, tailing off of procedures uh, as instructed where we lead to horseplay and all that, nonsense is just not going to be a good day. Okay. So don't 
do anything that would cause a situation in the laboratory. So you are responsible for the, your safety and the safety of other people working nearby. The rules below must be followed at all times in the lab. You can um, read those um, at your leisure, okay? One of the main things I always encourage you to do is look over the lab before you get into the lab for on the day of the procedures. Because if you come in here, you have no idea what's going on, it's going to be a bad day. And lastly, okay, benefits of chemistry, okay? This is what we're going to be doing all semester long. The purpose of research in chemistry, applied research addresses specific problems. Um, it's easier to see if it's immediate benefit. Pure research recalls research that has already been conducted, helps solve sudden unexpected events that occur in the world, much like uh, ozone holes uh, in the atmosphere, the AIDS epidemic. First line of defense was to look at pure research, okay? Try to get more knowledge about the virus. Uh, Technology is the practical use of scientific information. So technology is the result of pure and applied research, okay? Without technology, our knowledge will be limited. Um, so um, it's big. I've said this a couple times already. Technology and science um, is a uh, full circle type of deal. One will benefit the other uh, moving forward. So that is it for chapter one. Now, we will be um, getting towards a test later this week. Um, so make sure you've got all of your homework completed, all of your notes done. You'll be receiving your review guide for this here fairly soon. Again, we are starting hybrid um, pretty much the next day after seeing this video. So um, when um, if you are a BB group, make sure that you get a copy of the um, review guide from Classroom. Print it out, complete it. And then uh, we'll continue on. All right, everybody. Have a great rest of your day.